As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As a kid, I'd play spy games and discover classified information. As a kid, I made up a character I could talk to. As an adult, I buried my childhood. As an adult, I covered up my childhood. As an adult, the character I created took my place and never let me speak. My father succumbed to alcohol. My father got lost in obsession. My father lost sight of the world. My father became a stranger. My father was a reason my mother was unhappy. My mother couldn't put up with him anymore and searched. My mother's only way of coping was to search outside the home. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so my sister Jenny was a product of that search. My sister Jenny wasn't supposed to be born into my family. My sister Jenny was the only thing that my father reacted in the worst possible way. My father caused an accident that killed Led my father to jump off of that same. I'd forgotten how I felt. Did I feel furious? Afraid? Sad? Did I feel hatred? Did I feel alone? Did I feel nothing? Did I feel everything? My Aunt Claire took care of me when I was left all alone. My Aunt Claire helped me forget. My Aunt Claire forced me to forget. Forget. My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. My Aunt As a Claire kid, I pretend I was a pirate and unearthed buried treasures. As an adult, I buried my childhood. My father got lost in obsession. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so... My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My father caused an accident that killed. Remorse led my father to jump off of that same... My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. I'd forgotten how I felt. For 27 years, I haven't known who I was. 27 years of writing to hide myself. Only to turn into somebody... I'm not. Drowning in sarcasm and lies. It's over. Hmm. I'm not ready to ride a motorcycle yet. Mom, did you see that? I drank a glass of water this big in one gulp. What did you say your name was? My name is Ed. Thanks, Ed. I'm Faye. If you could... bring me some ice. How did she do it? Hi! Guess who's calling? <laughs> the thing is... I'd like to see you again. Oh, and I think I lost an earring. If you find it, can you give me a call? Hmm. Maybe... We'll see. A pleasure meeting you, Ed. I'm Dr. Lemus. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor? You got one hour. One. 
pathetic. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't make to... Uh... It's not your fault, sweetie. It's just that when Daddy's sad, he gets upset. You're never going to get sad or upset like that. Promise me. I promise. Night to B6, Sam. You're still screwed. think you're going? <laughs> I asked you a question, Eddie. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you think going out there and facing the world will make you someone? The hell it will. <laughs> I know you, kid. You're a piece of junk like me. You're useless. <laughs> don't know how to love without hurting people. <laughs> you ruined everything because you don't really care about anything but yourself and your pain. You become me. I'm not going to let you go around hurting people like I did. Just end your miserable life. Give your aunt a kiss. I knew we could do it together, just like we did last time. Last time we didn't do anything. Eddie, honey, are you tired? Maybe you should lie down for a little bit. I'm fine. I don't need to lie down. It's just, I'd like to talk about... <sighs> Did you have breakfast? Do you want a little juice and some toast? Why have we never talked about everything that happened? What Dad did? Eddie, what have I always told you? Some things are better left unsaid. Or do you want some bacon and eggs instead? When Mom and Dad died and you took me with you to San Bernardino, I remember night after night of you telling me how much Mom and Dad loved each other. How both of them watched over me from the stars with Jenny, happy to see me happy. Because I had to be happy. I understand why you did it. But those 
buried memories slowly ate away at me from the inside. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. Aunt Claire. There are eggs in the fridge and enough oranges. After the nap, I'll make some three bean chili. We ate some not too long ago, but it's your favorite, so I guess... Aunt Claire. <laughs> Please, Aunt Claire. I don't know what happened to your dad. I don't, or why he changed like that. It happened so fast. Over the course of a few months. Two years before the end. No reason or explanation. Your mother and I, we tried everything. We talked to him. We asked him. We begged him. We supported him. We got him help. But in the end, we lost him. All your mom had left was you. The possibility that you could still be happy in spite of it all. And when we lost her, I did my best. I'd better lie down for a little bit. Boss, we pulled the ivy off the wall. You want us to plant it somewhere else? Burn it. Boss, you sure you want us to tear down the treehouse? It just needs a little paint and varnish. Stick to the plan. Tear it all down. Whatever you say, boss. But any kid would be thrilled. Where are you? You like how the doc's coming along, boss? If I were you, I'd turn that frame over there into a bar, throw parties all day, all night. And people will be like, I got invited to a party at Ed Miller's yesterday. The writer, that guy, is living the life. If they only knew. When was the last time someone came over? Samuel? Does it always go like this? What do you mean, like this? You get the bait ready, throw the hook into the water, and, and wait, and wait, wait, until, if you're lucky, you get a bite, and then wait again? You've just described a perfect, relaxing day of fishing. <laughs> then I think I'm more of a chess kind of guy. Night to be six, Sam. You're still screwed. <laughs> Boy, don't you remember anything I taught you when you were little, huh? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, why do I always forget about castling? You always defend by attacking, okay? The trick is, always have a safe place for your most valuable pieces. No fun if there's no risk involved. No game if there are no pieces. What's wrong? 
Aren't you gonna move? You're a wise old man, Samuel Franklin. Your chess and fishing advice is never really about chess and fishing, is it? I'm just an uneducated old farmer boy. Stop reading into everything. The one using all the pretty words here is you. Not true. We're more alike than you think. <laughs> you wish. By the way, I know it's not your birthday or anything, but... I saw this the other day in the window at the antique store on East Main, and I thought, well, Frankie Lane, chess, so, uh, I don't know. It's a valuable piece, so you know. Keep it in a safe place. You know what? In the early 80s, I was convinced that the Russians were going to fry us all with a nuclear bomb. So I built a bomb shelter under the ranch. I built it myself. With no help from anybody. You're kidding me. Anyway, it can house uh, up to seven people, has running water, its own energy supply. No one knows it exists. Not even my nephew, Adam. Just Esther. And me. Why are you telling me about it? Look at us. Look at us what? Neither one of us has... Uh, I mean... We're both missing... We're family. Uh, about that, I, uh, I met, uh, no. No what? <laughs> How long have you known? Since Esther saw you leaving the mall. She saw the diapers in the trunk of your car, too. I've been holding her back a whole week so she wouldn't come drill you with questions. Mm. Uh... Well... I met a girl a while ago and, uh... Uh, no. The baby is... Uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, no rush. Whenever you've got it figured out, as long as you know that, that if the Russians go crazy again, the girl, the baby, and you are all invited to live in the bunker. Hmm. Anyway, boy, your turn. Are you gonna make a move or what? Robert, for coming right away. It's no problem. I got the first flight available. Anything you need, sweetie. Robert, this is Sheriff Nick Reyes from Cerro Lake. Pleasure. Please. So, why the urgency? Is this about Ed? Has he gotten worse? Uh, Robert, this might seem a little odd, but... 
Do you remember if Veronica had an unusual scar? What? I don't know. Why would you ask that, sweetie? Mr. Carrigan, we're asking about a very particular scar. On the right glute. He was barking too much. Honey, you, 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 you can't just barge into the Cerny's yard without permission. And you certainly cannot take Skippy. But he was hot. He's a puppy, honey. He doesn't know how to swim. And that pool is really deep. Dear God, if I hadn't been there. Miss Cerny said I was a bad girl. Oh, you're not a bad girl, honey. She was just upset and said some things she shouldn't have, that's all. But she won't let me play with Skippy anymore. She's a stupid old fart. Sweetie, they were only scared, that's all. They thought you wanted to hurt the puppy. But I... Just put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Imagine if someone took you to the park without your dad's permission when he wasn't around. And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? You can't tell daddy. I don't want you to. I can't lie to your dad. Plus, we should always tell the truth. Daddy pays you to do what I say, and I demand you to not tell him. Actually, your daddy pays me to take care of you, honey. Okay, here's the plan. I'll put the dirty towels in the wash while you think about what you'd like to eat. Then, I'll fix it up for you in a jiffy. What do you say? And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? So, Veronica, what would you like to eat? I want a PBJ and a Juicy Red in my Fruity Glass. Oh, a PBJ and a Juicy Red in the Fruity Glass. Everything tastes better in that Fruity Glass, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, oh, what a klutz. I'm sorry, honey. Uh, um, let me get the broom. Don't you move a finger until I clean this all up, okay? I'll get you another glass just like that one before you even know it. They sell them at the... Oh, look, that must be your daddy.
Mary, what's up? How's my little girl? She's fine, thank God. But I need to talk to you about something a bit... Well, a bit sensitive. Daddy, will it leave a scar? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? Now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Yeah, V for Veronica. Daddy? Is Mary bad? No. No. It's just... Don't you worry about it, honey. We'll find a better babysitter. No one will ever scold you again without a good reason. I love you so much, Daddy. Where did you build it, Samuel? I still can't believe you built a bunker on the ranch. <laughs> Neither can I. There's so much to keep in mind. For example, it has to be close enough to the house so that you can get to it quick before the bomb goes off. But it can't be right underneath the house, because that's the first place they'll look. Knowing you, nothing in that bunker was left to chance. Eddie, honey, you sure love that swing. Come on, are you sit up straight? And I'll bring out some of my apple pie and your favorite juice. Juicy Blue? Huh? Ah. Woman, you're spoiling that boy rotten with all that junk he sees on TV. Woman, you're spoiling that boy rotten with all that junk he sees on TV. Ed, tomorrow you and I are going fishing. But I don't want to kill little fishies. <laughs> Did you hear the boy? He doesn't want to kill. Samuel, let him be. Here you go. You're juicy blue, honey. Someday, you'll be a real man and we'll go fishing together. Come on, finish up that jump. I want to see if you can at least beat me at chess. Okay, but then off to the shower with you, or your mom won't let you come over. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who is the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows no fright. One more time. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who is the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows no fright. One more time. No, no, no. Captain Roberts needs to head to the sink. So much swashbuckling <laughs> is making him stink. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you miss them too, don't you, old pal? You look well. You've got fresh water, you're nice and clean. Who's taking care of you, hmm? I think those blueprints are still somewhere in the barn.
Anybody there? Sheriff? Give me a reason. Hey, come on. Chill. Ugh. Robert. She was two years old when I adopted her. I always thought I'd be compensated somehow for not seeing her birth. And yet, I've seen her die twice. Mr. Carrigan, I beg you. You don't know what it's like to lose your daughter, Sheriff. If I could spare you the pain, I would. But only you can identify the body. Sorry. I... I can't, Julia. I just can't. This whole time, she was alive. Not a single call in eight years. It can't be her. Robert. No. No. Why would she call me? She hated me ever since I had her committed. How did she die? What was she doing all these years? Was she happy? We don't know how happy she was the last few years. According to the doctor's psychological profile, she might have been happy before. She seemed to have fond memories of the time spent living under your care. In fact, she felt Ed had torn you to a part and ended her happiness. Hence, the revenge. No matter how disturbed she was, she never stopped loving you, Mr. Kerrigan. As for how it all ended, we're still not sure why, but she fell off the Brody Canyon Bridge, and due to the extreme height, and the fact that it took us a while to find her body, her face might... No. Perhaps the scar we mentioned might be more helpful when it comes to identifying her. That's really all we need. Why? Why? 
Why? Why? If you can't with those fingers you write with, you better start explaining why. Why? Why did you kill my uncle? Adam, your uncle was my friend. I didn't kill him. Faye, Veronica did. Bullshit. Veronica, Faye, who pulled the trigger doesn't really matter. You're an accomplice in his death. An accomplice? Adam! You always wanted to get rid of me as a kid and as a grown-up. You took them away from me. You stole their love. Fishing. Chess. The shared afternoons. You took them away from me. And you still weren't satisfied. You wanted the ranch. But I was going to inherit it, wasn't I? You wanted to threaten him to change his will, but never had the balls to. Because you've never had the balls to do anything. Your little friend did the dirty work for you. And it all got out of hand. She killed my uncle. And you killed her for screwing up out of rage, to tie up any loose ends. Adam, that's insane. I'm done. Did you kill my uncle? Adam, I didn't. I don't care who pulled the trigger. Did you kill my uncle? I know where you're- Did you kill my uncle? No, I had nothing to do with his death, nothing. You just won't give up, will you? All right. You better tell me what I want to know before I lose it! Three... Garant is alive, and I know where she is. What? She's in the ranch bunker. There's no bunker on the ranch. The blueprints are downstairs. I know where the entrance is. How do I know this isn't just a plan for me to let you go? This is not who you are, Adam Franklin. You're a good man, but if you do this... You asked for ah! There's a bunker. You prove it. Uh, according to the blueprints, it should be here. We should hear the sound of metal. It's right here. There's no doubt about it. Visitor? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? And now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Thank you, Mr. Kerrigan. you plan to... We got the key. I'm on my way. I need to go to the Franklin Ranch. Let's catch up later. Sheriff. Can I stay a little longer with my daughter? Mr. Carrigan. Perhaps... Would you like to meet your granddaughter?
Honey, Esther? Can you hear me? We're going to get you out of there. Honey, <laughs> Esther, are you okay? It's me, Honey. I'm Adam, your nephew. Stay away, monster! It's okay. Put the knife down. Stay away! Go get her! Esther, no. look at me. It's Eddie Miller. It's Eddie. You killed Samuel! When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight, hmm? Stay away from her, you monster! Oh. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows not fright. <laughs> When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows not fright? Eddie! Eddie! Give me your hand! Esther! Give me your hand! Oh, my dear boy, what did I do to you? It'll heal fast, don't worry. The ambulance is on its way. They'll have to run some tests and... Uh... <sighs> we had all kinds of things. Food and water. You know Sam. Um, Mrs. Franklin, if you could... You know, when you're feeling a little better. 
Maybe you could tell us what happened? I told Sam that it was too late to cross the woods. That he should take the car instead. But he insisted on walking to your house. He said he wanted to remind you about your fishing plans. But I know that he just wanted to have a beer with you. I was surprised when he came back so soon. He... He wasn't himself. I said, Sam, what's wrong? What did you see? Let's do this tonight. Same time. You better not be late. <laughs> well played, Kitty. I told Sam to call the police right away, but you know how stubborn he was. He said he'd tell you the next day when you went fishing. He didn't think much about it. He said a lot of youngsters did target practice in the woods and that she was probably shooting at squirrels. We didn't sleep well that night. Got up earlier than usual. Just before dawn, while we were having breakfast, we heard a car. We thought that was odd. But that wasn't the case. Sam! Oh my god! She Sam! made me cover him with a blanket. No! And then she dragged me away from him. She locked me up with the baby in the bunker and said she'd be back in a few hours. had installed a phone down there. I tried to call the police, but I no longer knew what time it was, so I braced myself for her return.
How am I going to live without him, madam? What will I do? Well, you could get ready for dinner. Otherwise, Jenny will be asleep when her grandma gets there. Oh, I forgot about Eddie's apple pie. I hope I didn't burn it. Sweetheart, tell your daddy to stop writing and come play with us. He's ignoring Grandpa. Huh? If you keep that up, you'll finish writing that novel in record time. Maybe. Does ten years sound record-breaking to you? What's on your mind? This morning, I finally got a call from my acquaintance at the state adoption agency. It seems like the agency that Robert hired for Veronica's adoption hid relevant information about her biological family. What? They molested her. They broke her. They... I don't even want to think about it. Bastards. Does that explain everything? Why she was a psychopath? It's possible. Many victims of abuse become abusers themselves. Veronica's trauma ran so deep that not even Robert's love could save her. Perhaps if she had received help as a child, none of this would have happened. I suppose we are all broken in one way or another. We don't all become Veronica, but we're not saints either. I thought you didn't want to interfere with my job. Hey, who's been interfering with mine for the past week? <laughs> When are you leaving? This afternoon. When I'm done with all the paperwork, uh, if you're not busy, I know there's someone waiting for you in L.A. But Cerro Lake is beautiful this time of year, and, uh... There is someone, but I've given him far too many opportunities. And none to Cerro Lake. We could go back to Mama Louise. There are so many things I haven't tried yet.
Hmm. <laughs> well played, Kitty. Please, don't touch her! She's just a baby! Don't touch her! She's my damn daughter! Can you point where he touched you on the doll? We found you a new daddy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I love you too, sweetie. To the moon and back. You're not crazy, honey. You're not a bad girl, honey. Will we still be friends when I'm gone? She's your daughter, Ed. Shut up. <laughs>